Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is the latest from Scott's ROMs. Scott over uh, at Scott's ROMs has put out Clean ROM 3.0 as of today, the 23rd. So I wanted to give you a quick review. Not much has changed on this from earlier versions, except for uh, one big thing. Of course, the uh, baseband. It is now based off of the V R A L H E base. It has all the same features as prior versions. Uh, they did add Verizon Visual Voicemail as an option during the Aroma Installer. If you have not used the Aroma Installer, I got a video on my uh, YouTube page that will tell you how to use it. Uh, basically, you get to create your own ROM before it is flashed to your phone with certain options. So uh, you use the Aroma Installer. Make sure you do all of your wipes. If you're new to rooting and new to flashing ROMs, you're going to want to make sure you follow the directions in the OP on how to flash the ROM. Okay. So uh, once you have downloaded it and booted into it through the Aroma Installer and got everything all set up, um, you're going to come to the home screen here, which you can see has got a wallpaper by Scott. It's called, it says Clean ROM right across the front of it. Now I have not tried to change it, but I did look in the gallery to see if it was an option to replace it if I did change it and I did not see it in there. So for all I know, once you change it, it's gone unless you go into your system files and find it again and that's just a bunch of humbo jumbo. Um, one thing it does not have, which I wish it did and I hope somebody makes a flashable zip soon for it, is the 4x5 launcher. This does have the 4x4 launcher, so if I wanted to keep the widgets the way I have it, the clean ROM out there so you can see it, uh, and my apps, I would need one more row. So I'm kind of of uh, dying for that one more row, but uh, the 4x4 stock launcher comes with it. We'll look at the notification bar down here. You got all your toggles, your Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, GPS, flashlight, mobile hotspot, screen brightness, airplane mode, sound, auto-rotate screen, power off, all that good stuff. I wish it did have a, a, a brightness slider here, but again, it's not the end of the world. We'll go into the app drawer. You can see it is very smooth. I mean, there is absolutely no lag whatsoever. Again, on the home screens, um, it is a very smooth ROM. There's no lag, no hesitation, and I haven't even moved up in developer options the animations to uh, make them faster. They're still on stock. So uh, definitely overall, I don't know if Scott did that or if the HE version made it smoother, but uh, it's definitely a smooth ROM. No problems at all. Wi-Fi works. We'll uh, check on GPS here. Uh, I did notice, and I I know others have noticed the first time that you lock on to GPS, uh, it's not going to lock on very quickly. It actually takes quite a while, even if you use this app here, the GPS status app, and download your A GPS data, it still takes quite a while for it to lock on, and I noticed other people had said the same thing. So don't worry, it does lock on, it does work, it just takes a little while. So GPS works, Wi-Fi works, the data works. Um, Got all my widgets. It does come with every widget. You can. Uh, it does have the option for the Yahoo widget and the AccuWeather widget if you want to add it in there, and that's in the Aroma Installer. But all of your widgets are here, ready to go for you to use. I personally like the uh, widget for the assistive light. It's it's instant. You don't have to wait for the one in the toggle bar to turn on. And of course, my alarm clocks. Yes, I do get up at 4 a.m. every day for my morning show. So, um, other than that, it's pretty stock. If we'll go to the settings. We'll go down to About Device. We'll look in the menu here and see what it says, Android 4.0.4. Um, I'm still on the VRLHD baseband, uh, but again, the ROM is based off of the H. E baseband. We are running the stock kernel as of now. Samsung has released the source code for uh, the HE kernel, but uh, Scott was looking at it and was wondering if it was the exact same thing as G1. If it is, which it's good, everything will work. But if Samsung made a mistake and posted the G1 source code in the HE file, then we're in trouble. So he's going to look at the kernel source code. Uh, as of now, we're not running any custom kernels, but I did see some people say that Lean Kernel was running fine on here, so I'm not saying it can't work, but I'm not saying that Scott is endorsing it as of now. We are running the stock kernel. We're on build number uh, Clean ROM 3.0, so that's what's going on in that menu. Uh, it looks stock otherwise, just like uh, Clean ROM normally does. All the colors are there. Of course, Beanstown grays his out, so uh, there's no color. Uh, I really would like that uh, extra line, extra row there for my, uh, for my icons for the 4x5 launcher, but again, that'll probably be coming out uh, when someone makes a zip file. So that's it. That's the Clean ROM version 3.0. For the Verizon Galaxy S3, don't forget to check out some of my other videos, Android University on YouTube.com, ROM Reviews. I also have some threads in XDA and Roots Wiki. And you can go there and find some of my videos for other ROMs, and I keep them updated as much as possible. All right? Have a great day. It's Hobart Clean ROM 3.0. Have a great day. See ya.